Viewers and subscribers, and welcome back again on this platform where we tell you undiluted truth. Fubara is in the news again. This time, he is not fighting Mwike, but he is laying it to bear the truth before the judge. Now, listen to this. Some of you, you say you're a legal luminary. You know the truth. You will go on air just to pacify your paymasters to turn the law upside down. We all know the law when it comes to issues that has to do with the administration of governance in states. It is the state high court. It doesn't matter whether you go and join INEC police. It is a straightforward. I'm not a lawyer, but I know that one. And you stand and, and you say you're doing the right thing, God will judge you. Let me say it here so you understand. Judges, you're in all that we are seeing. Your position is to stand and defend us. Your position is to look at whoever and tell the person the truth. Because if you don't do it here, you have a big question to answer. The preacher said it. Every evil done in the course of administering justice, you will pay for it there. Look at what today, the up and downs in this state. When everybody knows that whatever we're getting from that end, I don't want to call their name. Everybody knows. Good. What a straightforward truth. Plus, including himself. Tell me any politician in Nigeria that is not a benefactor of perverted justice. You know, before now, we used to hear that the court is the last hope of a common man. But in Nigeria today, the court is only the last hope of an average politician to grab vote that he never got. <laughs> if you doubt it, we know what happened in Imo State, we are number four, became first <laughs> because of the court. We know how we all went down in the presidential election. We are even the umpire of the election, say, go to court. When he knew perfectly well what they did. So, you know that the hope of the common man in Nigeria is no longer in the court. Because we have judges who have perverted justice, um, ju judgment, and, um, you know, subjugated the right, the free rights of Nigerian people to justice. Well, let's be hopeful, oh. <laughs> because now turn by turn, he himself that is speaking. Hope say he no be benefactor of the same corruption of perverted judgment and justice system. Well, let me just keep it at that. Let's have your opinion on this. But this is a known fact. Nigerians have always known. But it is good if it's coming from them. So that nobody go talk say <laughs> he's talking out of experience though. So that nobody go talk say that we they talk and break up stories. These are facts about Nigeria. Because I say it boldly that corruption and impunity had become an institution. In fact, it is a norm. It is a tradition. If you are doing the right thing, you are considered doing wrong in Nigeria. And if you are doing wrong, <laughs> you will receive a lot of accolades and award. That is the kind of Nigeria we found ourselves. But can we continue like this? It is left for the people. It is left for the people. Well, what's your take on it? Drop down in the comment section. Bye bye for now.